because like maybe you <coughs> cut my body parts off and sell it. So. <laughs> you don't. You wouldn't sell for a lot. I need somebody who's really tall. People who are tall actually sell for a lot. Not small people like you or me. <laughs> Let these infill videos give you the chance to appreciate all women that you see and want to approach. If you really think about it, the only thing that makes a quality woman a quality woman is in the mind of the specific man. This is why I say go outside the mind. Because once you go outside the mind, all women become high quality. They become on the even field of seeing. There's not a woman who's higher, there's not a woman who's lower. They just become equal. And from that place of equalness, you'll be able to gauge based on how much you appreciate who do you want to hang out with more. So forget about high quality, low quality. Forget about that type of judgment. Forget about it. Because all women are high quality. What a long jog I took to come say hello to you. Oh, hi, who are you? <sighs> I'm a person you don't know. <laughs> the world is too big too big this yeah. this world is too no big? the world um, yeah the, what world you talking about yeah world? i was no. like oh, it's a little pretty little <laughs> no no i said the world was so big and i yeah. was like uh, i wanted to see what the other part of the world was like mm -hmm. so i went overseas i'm from poland i mean not going off far far east but yeah i go there a lot to visit family and stuff oh my god <laughs> <laughs> It's such a black name. I love it. <laughs> okay, it's Polish. It's, it's a black name. No, I'm gonna tell every. I'm gonna tell a girl that I know named Don, Dominica that She's she has a Poland name. <laughs> Mark, do you think they won't like you? No, because they're just like, why wouldn't you just go to pharmacy school at like Madison? Because it's like Madison. I'm like, okay, why are you spending four years here? Mm. I either wanna go back to Milwaukee or Chicago. But listen. We'll why so close though? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm applying to Denver and Seattle, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I have a question. If somebody, if Denver and Seattle said yes, mm -hmm. and Chicago said yes, which one would you choose? Um, I think I would have to think between Seattle and Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're actually not so scared you're just kind of scared then yeah i'm like moderately scared <laughs> yeah because you make the choice right in the middle yeah. yeah so you have some bravery to you and another part mm -hmm. of you like security mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 hello you look so funky from where where yeah no there's gypsies in many different places where are you a gypsy from by the way base everywhere yeah, I know, but I'm saying, what are you a gypsy from where? In a place called Tatarstan. Tatarstan? No, I don't. You uh, see? I, I know gypsies in Budapest. I know gypsies in Serbia. What about Bangladesh? Oh, Some no, are you, a, are you a Bangladesh gypsy? No. <laughs> ah. I'm just fond of them. You're fond of them? You like dressing like them? Mm. Yeah. Looks cool, because it's so drapey and like almost Almost bad, but really good. <laughs> That's what's crazy. <laughs> you know what would, be, what would be sexy? If you were ambiguous. Sorry? If you were ambiguous, that would be the sexy thing. True. Yeah, if I was like, well, do you want to go on a date? And you was like, I don't know, maybe. Uh, no, I think it's too obvious as well. For a woman to be uh, not sure in her schedule or her desires. <laughs> You don't think it's sexy when a woman is not sure in her desires? Exactly. I think op um, opposite. If she's sure, that's kind of unique. It's kind of a what? It's kind of unique. It's woman sure in something. It's unique. Yes, it's unique in a way that most women are. That's why. <laughs> I don't agree with you. Mm, most women I've met are not sure in themselves. In New York? It's true. Absolutely. In New York, girls are sure of themselves, but most women I've met are not sure of themselves, but the ones I do meet who are, it's quite interesting because they've had to become a different type of person to be that way. Okay, we're That's wasting right. time. We have, to, we have to go now. If we want to do it, we but have we to have go to now. We have to make a deal. <laughs> What's the deal? The deal, if we are doing 
if we are reaching the point in 30 minutes as you said yeah so we can go up and enjoy the sun we're gonna we just a no, deal it's a deal i go and i enjoy my darkness alone it's a deal let's go what i meant by taking the risk is related to something i can rebuild develop myself that's what i meant like uh, like for example the chances for for example mo mo model job you know because if you don't no, 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 no. take the risk <laughs> or the chances then you won't get far and it's also like for everything else in life it's not it's not about modeling like for example i took the risk just to travel abroad to study actually i'm studying medicine mm -hmm. so I was the only one among my friends who, got, who just took the chance and came here and studied medicine. When I got here, I didn't know anyone. That was my very, very, very first time traveling abroad alone. Yeah. Never ever experienced the, the life or the world. So that was the huge, the biggest, biggest step I took in my life. But the reason why I did it is because I knew that that risk will give me a good future. As long as I gain something, I take it. But if that risk, if I realize that that risk hurting me or it will bring me some bad, then why should you take it? It's stupid, isn't it? You're very intelligent. I have to tell you that. <laughs> that's, that's a very intelligent thing to say because it's, you've, some, something has taught you that I don't know what experience you had in your life, mm -hmm. but something has taught you that when I take a risk toward that which I want or something that's going to allow me to become better, yes. I should take the risk. Yes. But if I take a risk where I feel like... It's more harm than the good one? Yes. Then why should you do it? It's stupid. Did you just say maybe it's not so cool? Yeah, sometimes because they... I'll always make some super cool photos and you look and be like, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you see laughing, it's not always uh, as cool as... Oh, yeah, of course. That's the same thing about um, America. Like, America looks to everybody like this amazing, amazing place. <laughs> but when you go there, yeah, it's beautiful, but it's not so like, oh, wow. Because <laughs> do you think about America like that? You don't like America, do you? Mm. No, I just don't care about work, but I don't think about it. Oh, work. <laughs> no, I don't think about that. Mm -hmm. You also have a lot of homeless and also a lot of social problems. So. I, mean, I think in many ways it's like pretty common with the Russian. And with Russian? Mm -hmm. Are you Russian? Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. So, do you live there? Or you just travel? Do I live here? Yeah. Yeah, I live here. I used to live in America, but I'm more of a European soul. Mm -hmm. So when I come back here, I always feel like a home feeling. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For me also. Uh, I like this place more than any Russian since the time that I'm like, uh, Yes, you are an outcast. Um, sorry? You are an outcast. Outcast? Do you know what an outcast is? Um, no. Outcast is the person that you see walking down the street and they look different than everybody else. <laughs> yeah. I see. Um, yeah, Do you try to be the outcast? Um, I'm not trying. Like, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm saying your style. You walk with a very, like, I don't care. What do people think of me? Um, type of way. And I think that's why I say you look like an outcast. I see. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm like. I'm doing photography, maybe that's why my style is like this. So. Oh, you're, you're an art. Because um, photography is art. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you get a d attention to detail, so. Um, yes, <laughs> who knows, like, maybe you will <coughs> cut my body parts off and sell it, so. <laughs> you don't, you wouldn't sell for a lot. I need somebody who's really tall. People who are tall actually sell for a lot, not small people like you or me. <laughs> As you can see from the videos, each girl had her own uniqueness. She was very different than the next girl. And you may go 
Tony, these are the five girls, or these are five girls, I would say, that are high quality or girls who have the potential to be high quality. You may say, Tony, I think that's a better fit for you or that's a better fit for you. But the only person who really knows what's the greatest fit is me and my levels of appreciation. This is going to be the way that I'm going to be able to choose somebody for real. And this is not something that I knew back in the day. This is not something that I found would be the way that I start to see who would I want to be around. And if I can tell you, I'll say it was the American girl. The American girl was the one who I actually felt the best around. That's the one what I would be willing to see probably more than the others. Of course, I don't remember specifically how I felt around every, every single one of them, but I remember the feeling of just like, <clears throat> I like the way she's expressing herself. I just felt it. It's just, she had a softness, a way about her expressing herself, and I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> and I really enjoyed it. But I don't see her as more than the other girls. And this is important for anybody who's watching this video, that you'll start to see women as more than the other, more than the other ones out there. If your mind is judging on whether she's low quality or high quality. And this is one of the things that happen nowadays, where guys are looking for high quality women. They're like, I don't want to look for the stupid ones. I don't want to look for the ones who don't care about life, who aren't growing, I want to look for the high quality women, the women who are beautiful, who maybe are artistic, who care about where they're going, maybe have a purpose in life. These are the women that I want because these are the high quality women. And that's only based on his mind's judgment or your mind's judgment on what high and low quality means. And what that does in many ways that it imprisons you, it does. You will only attract the same women because your mind knows what high quality and low quality is. So you'll only attract the same women because you will remain in many ways the same. When you go outside the mind, though, like I was able to with these girls, I'm able to appreciate them specifically. I don't want her to be like her. I don't want to compare her to her. I just appreciate what's in front of me. And based on my levels of appreciation, I can go, do I want to see her more or less? And of course, the ones who I want to see more are the ones who want to be more of themselves. Of course, that'll naturally happen. But I'm not coming in with a fixed gauge on she's got to be this or she's got to be this. It's just my appreciation as it goes up, I want to see her more. If it goes up and it stays at a certain level, then it means that I only want to see her a certain amount. And that's how it's always been for me. I want to see the girl based on where I'm at internally as far as appreciation. That's not how it's always been for me, but I'm saying that's the way it was when I got the insight. And from that point, it was just, well, how do I feel? Do I appreciate her? Yeah, I want to see her again. If I knew that I only appreciated a little bit, yeah. These are what I appreciate about her, and I'm, I'm willing to stop at that. I don't want to see her more. Even if she wants to see me more, I don't want to see her more. To the point where I had to walk away from some women. Just walk away because they wanted to see me more. And I'm like, I'm not willing to give you more time. Because I appreciate you enough to be able to see you once a week, but I don't want to see you more. You just simply aren't allowed. I'm not feeling anything more. And when you do this, you'll start to see that it's very clear. There's no cloudiness. It's very clear on who you want to see and who you don't want to see. Or when you approach a woman, you'll be gauging from, I appreciate you and I want to know more. And the more she gives you, you can appreciate. Let's get into something, though, that's really, really interesting because this is going to give you the chance to notice how do you 
classify women? How do you classify high quality and low quality? Because this is going to make a difference in the way that you choose the women in your life. High quality. What do you constitute as high quality? And in many ways, <clears throat> when you start to think about high quality, you want to start go. You want to start to go. Okay, a high quality woman to me is someone who's smart, someone who is growing, somebody who is independent, somebody who takes interest in her life and she has hobbies that she really enjoy. Maybe these things like this are starting to go down a path of what you would call high quality. You start to create lists. You start to create the woman. And as you create her, it feels like that's the girl I need to go for. Or that's the woman who eventually I want to have. The list or the list of qualities that you have has given you a chance to go, these women are like this and these women are like this. And I used to do this as well. I used to make these lists where I would go, okay, a high quality woman is this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, or a quality woman. That's how it felt. I wasn't putting a high quality, I was just putting a quality woman, or quality women have these things. And then what would happen is I would go out there and I would start meeting girls. And immediately, if a girl didn't give me some on that or she would give me the opposite of something that I thought was high quality, I would just write her off like she's not really a high quality woman. And it would affect the way that I'm treating her. This is one of the drawbacks of it. One of the drawbacks of high, going out there with the judgment of high quality, low quality is you have a drawback. And that drawback is you start to treat the woman differently. You may even start to treat her more, and so you start even trying to make her more appreciated because you feel like maybe this is a high quality woman, or you start to not really care or don't want to engage because you feel like this is a low quality woman. And from that position, You don't, you don't win on either side. Because the girl you start treating differently in the way of she's not enough. Is making you become accustomed to the other side so much that you're going to pedestal a woman when you feel that she is, quote unquote, the high quality that you feel. Because you will feel like your actions are justified for treating her like a low quality woman because that's what she is. It's like when someone meets someone who's from a third world country and then they treat them like they're from a third world country. And it's like if they meet someone who's really, really rich and they treat them like they're really, really rich. That usually is what happens when you're someone who has this judgment of low and high, is that when you see someone in a category, you keep them there. When you see someone, I'm talking about the low right now, that's why I point this way, when you see them maybe in a perceived high category, you keep them there as well. And your mind will continuously react. No wonder why when you see a woman who's quote unquote really beautiful, in your mind you think that immediately that, could, that because she's beautiful, she's a high quality, so, the way that you treat her is putting her in that position of high quality or in that position of more or she's more than enough. No wonder why you do that. You do it because you have a gauge on what's low quality. That's simply it. And I used to do this. <clears throat> I went because she's the beautiful one. 
because she's the one who looks like the girl that I really, really want, in some way she must be the high quality one. She must be. Because that's the girl who I'm learning about this to be able to get. Her. Me not knowing anything about her. Or even going up and maybe if she gives me a good reaction in She starts to tell me a little bit about her and I feel like, oh, she's opening up. Okay, she's like the open girl because I feel like that's the high quality woman. She's an open woman. And then she starts telling me about things she likes to do. And then I go, she has interest in life. And then my mind is continuously being stimulated because I'm like, this is her. And then as I do that, I place her in that category. I keep her there and I don't move her anywhere else. Because even if she says something that was a quote unquote low quality thing, I wouldn't place her there. Because I would just rationalize, like, okay, that's just one thing, but she's mainly this. So no wonder why I would see a girl, she's really, really beautiful. <clears throat> and I would feel in the moment, I got to do a lot. I got to put more into this. I got to do a lot. Because she's the high quality woman. And of course... When you first start out, this is the way you're just going to do it. This is the way it's going to happen. Because you start out with your mind being heavily involved. So, of course, you're going to start off with that. Did it take me time to, to get this insight that I have now? For sure. It took me time. The evening everything out, it took me time. It took me going outside the mind and within myself for me to see this. But I don't want you to get caught in this high and low. Because once you get caught in it... You're stuck in many ways. And you'll really believe it. You'll really believe that <clears throat> a low quality woman is like this and a high quality woman is like this. Forgive me <clears throat> that my throat keeps doing this. Um, I'll probably need <clears throat> some water soon. That's why I have to take a break. When you don't get caught up on these two things like that and everything becomes even, then you get to go, Okay, I can really, really see the women. I can really, really interact with them in the way they are. I can really see that all women are high quality. I don't even like saying high quality, but I just know that's one thing that's been buzzing around in this arena of life so much. And it's everything from that to getting a woman in your life. It's like, get the high quality woman. Don't get the low quality woman. Because if you get low quality, you're not going to be happy. Forget about whether she's low quality or high quality. Forget about it. Totally forget about it. Because, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, but definitely after this, I'm going to cut and I'm going to get some water. But because when you even everything out, when you go outside the mind and you can see everything, that becomes idiotic. That becomes nonsense. As it becomes nonsense, you start to be able to appreciate. But even as I say this, you and many, many other guys who even go out there, they'll keep this. And when they keep this, it blocks them because they don't know that they're actually covering, covering up parts of themselves that needs to be handled. And what it's covering is you not wanting to go beyond who you think you are. This is very, very important for you to understand. When you have a cover up of what's low quality and what's high quality, this becomes a cover up of you not going beyond who you think you are. Or not going beyond what image you want to become. In many ways, it's safe to categorize women. Because that means that you don't have to deal with the women you don't want to have to deal with. And many of the guys who come to me are guys who are maybe introverted, Guys who feel like they don't know how to express themselves. Maybe some shy guys 
who people who don't feel like they're not people who feel they're not good enough. And in some way, if you've been watching my videos for some time, or you've been engaged in this video for time, you feel one of these things. You feel not good enough. You feel fear of judgment. You feel something like that. But why do I say it's a cover-up of who you think you are, that it blocks you, that this low and high can block you? It's safe? Because... Whoever you think you are right now will be in direct correlation to who you call high quality and low quality. <clears throat> if you're someone who is really quote unquote nice, let's say you're more slow moving, you call yourself a low energy guy. When you see a woman who's bouncy and she's willing to just be herself and like really express herself and be wild and like she's like, oh, I want to dance or anything like that. When you see a woman like that, you will feel like that is a low quality woman. You will. You'll be like, she's one of those girls who's, you know, she's just she's shallow and she's empty and she just wants to go out and have fun. She's not serious. She's, she doesn't really care about her life. You start to feel these things. You start to feel like the girl who's really bouncy and alive and like this, and, and she's just like, oh, let's go do this thing, or let's go do this. You will feel like that is low quality. Because you think, as a person who, quote unquote, is a low energy person, that that's not what's for you. That the high quality woman for you in the mind of the, of the specific man, the high quality woman for you is maybe a girl who's artistic. Maybe a girl who is into spiritual development. Maybe a girl who reads. A girl who has a serious side to her and who can become serious. Like maybe these are the things that you start to go, what is a high quality woman to me? Because the moment you think about bouncy or anything like that, You'll go, that's not what I want. It's safe. It's a cover-up. Why is it safe and a cover-up? Because you don't want that type of woman because that's the same part of yourself that you don't express. It's the same part. If you really express joy, if you really express excitement, if you really express liveliness, of course you would go for her. Of course she could be in your realm of high quality. But because you find yourself being something that's other than that, you'll go, nah. I don't want girls like that. I want girls who are a little bit more like this. This is what high quality means to me. And this is something that I have to see for myself. That I was doing this exact same thing. I was gauging on who's high and who's low quality. Also based on a part of myself that I couldn't express. That I didn't want to express. I was making up lists simply because the lists were keeping me safe. That means I didn't have to deal with this girl or that girl. I didn't have to. And that just felt relieving. I'm like, fuck. I don't want to deal with the girl who just only wants to play in life and she doesn't care about where she's going. I don't want to deal with that. To the point where I would be out there speaking to girls and the moment she would give me the Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just right now I'm just having fun. I'll just feel like, yeah, but why not more though? Why don't you have more to you? Forgetting that there's things I can appreciate, but because I'm blocked, I can only say to her in my mind, say to her in my mind, well, why not more? 
Or even times I would try to push for more. Try to push for her to bring out something in her that's, that's more valuable. Not saying that play is valuable as well. That a woman being expressive is the most valuable thing about a woman. I couldn't see this. I was blocked by my own, this is low, this is high. Okay, if she's not this, then she's low. So I tell you that if you're not willing to go beyond who you think you are, of course you're going to go out there and see these women like this and see these women like this. You're going to block your appreciation. You are. And every single time that a girl gives you something where you go, that's a high quality woman, you're going to appreciate it. But let's say a girl is quote unquote shallow and she only wants to have fun and she doesn't really care. You're going to go, she's a low quality woman. It's blocking you from actually being yourself, from actually being, because your mind is so much crunched on the rule of this is what this is and this is what this is, that you're actually cramping yourself into something. And you'll, <clears throat> you'll continuously keep getting the same woman, continuously judging women based on did she give me this much or did she give me this much? And it makes you an image of something. It makes you that. Because remember, you have a high quality image. To have a high quality image, you have to be an image. That's what you do. You place yourself in an image. And then you feel like I, that image can match the image who I am right now or who I want to become. So that is what I'm going to go after. Or that is what is valuable to me. And it's crazy because you may not even meet that many times and you may wait. You may actually be like, oh yeah, but she's not like the other girl I had. And then you start comparing a lot and it leaves you in a place of shallowness in yourself. Where you just can't actually see what's really happening. This is why there must be some willingness to go beyond who you think you are, because you're much more than you think. It's a cover up. It's keeping you safe. The moment you, you place a woman somewhere in your mind, that's keeping you safe. Whether it is you approach her or you don't approach her is still keeping you safe. The only way for you to not see that image is to go outside of this thing because this thing is going to continuously tell you that this is this and this is this because this thing is two sides and I bring you to the last thing forget about what it all means Forget about high quality. Forget about low quality. And even the field. Even it. And the only way you can truly even it is by seeing. Only way you can truly see is by truth. Really see what's happening. Forget about what all that means. Because when you forget about it, you'll actually be able to gauge based on appreciation. You'll be able to gauge, do I want to see her more? Do I want to see her less? Based on simply appreciation. Let's think about me and the situations I've had with women over time. That's allowed me to go this much, okay, this much. When I start to go from appreciation, I was dating a girl. And as I'm dating her, she is in college and <clears throat> wanting to become more. She's growing a bit. And I enjoy her. I really do. I like her way that she's able to talk back to me. And it's just like we have a great way. But also something I knew is that it's only a certain level that I can go with this woman. Because I appreciate only so much. 
She's only showing me so much. She's only expressing herself in a way so much. So I can only appreciate her so much. We started to stay together. And then she went, I think we should hang out maybe twice a week instead of once. Then I went, no, I'm only willing to see you once a week. It's like, but why? Because that's what I'm willing to offer you. I didn't have to say because you only are this, this, and this. No, I didn't have to say that. I was like, that's what I'm willing to offer you. I'm willing to see you once a week because I still want to. And she's like, yeah, but what about twice a week? And I was like, mm, no, we're not. But why? And she just didn't understand. And I wasn't going to tell her, of course, like because of this thing, this thing. Then it went to, you're like a dictator. I just like, what are you talking about? You're like a dictator. You can not only see me once a week, not twice a week. And then she just went into that and I just started to see through it. It was just that she just wanted more time and she was developing more of, I want more time for you. And I wasn't willing to give that. I appreciated what I appreciated about her. Unlike back in the day where I would be like, she need to be more and I would just cut her out. I started to see what I appreciate. I started to shine the light on what I appreciated about her. Shine the light on these parts that I liked and keep the light on these parts. And then when she shows something else of herself, expresses something else of herself, because that's what makes me want to be more around a woman, that her willingness to express herself, that then will get, boom, more of a light. I can shine the light on that. But I'm not going to look at the different other parts that's, that's like quote unquote wrong about her or that she's not developing in. No, I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to appreciate what I can appreciate. I am because I do appreciate this woman. I do. But it led to me in the end telling her that I wasn't going to see her any longer. And of course she was angry and then she got over it, but she was just, I couldn't give her more of what she wanted because she just wasn't expressing enough of herself. I didn't have that level of wanting to see her more. But I go to another woman, though, a woman who was like a club woman. Guys would be like, that's the girl you just, you know, you have fun with her and you don't do anything else. No, she was a woman that was, of course, she was like the girl who was like going out and she would drink and she would uh, be the one in the club who's like swatting guys away. Of course, she was like that. But her sense of humor, the way her softness the way that she was able to when she really wanted to go into her heart, the way I felt around her, the way she was in bed, like these things, it just was like really pulling to me. And I chose to shine a light on these parts. Although she was only someone working at a store here in Budapest, <clears throat> of course she was only a manager at a store and she wasn't doing really anything else besides that. She even smoked. Things where guys would be like, oh, high quality woman, she doesn't smoke, she doesn't drink, she does what she wants in her life. No. I was able to really appreciate this woman. Like, I enjoyed seeing her. I enjoyed hanging out with her so much. And to the point that <clears throat> we actually started dating. Like, she became one of the, the primary woman in my life. Because I really felt from her like this, oh my God, I really, really feel this with this woman. <clears throat> I didn't care that she was someone who worked at a store or did. I didn't care about that. That's not the most important thing. She was expressive. Now, don't get me wrong. She had to learn ways to express herself. She was just blocked in many ways. But she was willing. She was willing to be more open to me at times. And I really enjoyed that. I really was like, because the more a woman is willing to express herself and go beyond and express herself more, the more I'm going to feel natural appreciation for her. That is the simple gauge. Appreciation levels. When you forget about everything, you can work with something that's real. I appreciate her this much, so I'm willing to see her this much. I appreciate her this much, so I'm not going to try to go up on it. I'm just going to give it the appreciation that's due. If a beautiful woman said to you, Oh, you know, I am a CEO of a company and 
I've been working at this my whole life, and I'm finally happy that, I, that it happened. That's great. That's great that she was able to do that track of action. That's great. But you're going to feel much more enlivened by her. Not by the appreciation of that. It's by her willingness to express what she feels about it. That's what it is. If she expresses like, <clears throat> yeah, you know, my whole life I've been uh, working towards this and I'm really glad that I went toward it and it happened. And she expresses like, <clears throat> like that. So sorry for my throat being like this, by the way. And she's really felt like that. And then you went, oh man, that's great. She looks like this. But let's say she was like, I just, my whole life has been so difficult for me. And she really started to express herself. You will start to feel more drawn in. Because that's what happens when a woman expresses herself. The masculine focus becomes sharper onto her. Because it's more alluring to you. Expression is more alluring to you. So your focus becomes sharper. The way a woman is saying something, the way she is, <clears throat> is going to give you more energy than anything else. And from that, your appreciation is naturally going to rise. This is why I say that is the only true gauge on a woman being, quote unquote, high quality. And you should even forget about high quality and just go, if a woman is like this and she likes to play and have fun, I can appreciate that. I can be honest with myself and go, I'm not used to expressing that, so I'm actually afraid of that. And this is when I'm going to talk about the video on letting go of personality, because that's going to be able to let you see the parts of yourself that you can develop. But you can start to work on the parts of yourself so you can appreciate that woman. You can't appreciate a woman if you call yourself a low energy man and she's someone that's quote unquote high energy. You cannot, because you'll feel like that's not you. That's not me. I want a girl who's more low energy than that. You can have all women when you're like this as well. No woman is more than the other. No woman is off limits. All women are available to you. And that's the joy of going outside the mind. That's the joy of forgetting about low and high quality. Because there's really no such thing. Now, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you've made it this far, I just want to say the last two weeks, I haven't been getting any emails simply because it was something wrong with my emailing system. So if you sent me an email in the last two weeks about anything, please send it again so I can get back to you. It wasn't that I didn't respond. It's just I wasn't getting emails. I still have some Berlin spots left. It will be closed in two days time. So be sure that if you want to come to Berlin and see me and be a part of the seminar, that you go get it. It's below in the description box under Berlin seminar tickets. Click the link and you'll be able to go there. I have a free meet the bedroom series. Everything from how do you say hello to her and what do you give her, how do you give her a compliment to how to take her home? Underneath the Berlin seminar link. The infill videos that I did, if you haven't seen those, I will put under, also in the description box a link for each one. I'll put infill video one, two, three, four, five, and I'll put the video there for you to be able to see the infill if you haven't seen it already. Subscribe and share. Please, please subscribe and share. And I only have four, maybe four spots, realistically, three spots left in Europe. For the whole fucking year, like it, it's just uh, three spots left. And it's not even, it's just the beginning of April now. If you want to know more about that, please, please, please contact me at Tony Solo at the essence of men.com. That is my email. My website is underway, so it should be up soon, and I'll be happy for that. I keep saying it because, yes, it is. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you.
a few days.